Hey everyone, so in today's video, we're going to be going over this SAT math question. So this one says, during a month, Morgan ran R miles at 5 miles per hour and biked B miles at 10 miles per hour. She ran and biked a total of 200 miles that month, and she biked for twice as many hours as she ran, with the total number of miles that Morgan biked during the month. So there's a couple ways you can approach this, but I think the simplest way is honestly just through ratios and systems of equations. So first off, we have 200 miles that she runs in total. And we can set this equal to R plus T because that's the total mileage that she ran, right? The number of miles she runs and the number of miles that she bikes. So now we want to uh, set up a system. So in our case, we should have a variable. We'll call this X. So X in our case, let's say, is the total number of hours that she spends on the activity. So in our case for running, we can just say 5X, right? So in our case, if X, let's say she spent two hours um, doing that activity. If she spent two hours running, it would be two times five. And so that would check out. So if she ran for two hours at a rate of five miles per hour, guess what? She's going to run a total of 10 miles as her distance. Now, if we zoom in now for biking, that's a different story. Now, why? Well, first off, her rate is different. Right. So instead of going at five miles per hour, she's going at 10 miles per hour. So it really doesn't matter whether she's running or biking, but it's only the speed that changes. And also, if you have an external variable, which in our case we do, because she says that she biked for twice as many hours as she ran. Right. So we can't just write 10x here because we know that she biked for twice as many hours as she ran. And so we can put a two on the outside here, multiplied by the rate of 10x. So 10x is just the amount of time, um, or rather x is the amount of time she just spends in activity. So watch what happens. So we have 5x plus 2 times 10x. So this becomes 20x. And this is 5x. So this becomes 25x equals 200, right? And so if we solve for x here, we get 8. So 8 doesn't have a really meaning in this problem. But if we plug this in to each of our rates, we can actually find the answer. Now, why? Well, because we can plug this back into the 5x here. So we know that she runs 5 miles per hour. So if she's doing x activity for 8 hours, that's going to give us 8. So that's 40. That's 40 miles. And we know in total, she ran a bike to a total of 200 miles. And so 200, boom, boom, minus 40 is 160 miles and so that is our final answer and there's another way you can check um, using this equation right here 20x so 20 times 8 right that value of 8 and guess what that also gets us 160 miles and so our final answer is d